Does Ferrari truly treat its drivers equally? Let's delve into the fascinating world of Formula One and Ferrari's unique approach. The iconic prancing horse has two formidable jockeys in its stable, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Both are proven race winners, each with their own distinctive flair and finesse on the track. Team principal Frederick Vasseur has repeatedly confirmed that Ferrari holds steadfast to a policy of equal treatment for these two gladiators of the grid. Since their pairing in 2021, Ferrari has faced challenges contending for championships. Yet, the team has still managed to secure the occasional gold, a testament to the skill and valor of their drivers. Leclerc and Sainz have shown time and again that they can rise to the occasion, their victories a clear demonstration of Ferrari's equal treatment ethos. While Ferrari has struggled for championships during their partnership, they've still managed to secure the odd race victory. Let's explore how. Despite the lack of championships, Ferrari's equal treatment policy has yielded some solid results. This approach has come to fruition in the form of key victories and strategic decisions that have set the team apart in recent seasons. Let's journey back to 2022, a year that saw Charles Leclerc take the checkered flag in three thrilling races compared to Carlos Sainz's single victory. Yet it's crucial to understand that the numbers alone don't tell the full story. The team's commitment to equal treatment shone brightly in each of these wins. A shining example of this strategy in action was the Singapore Grand Prix. This race was a masterclass in team tactics and teamwork. Despite Leclerc's longer tenure at the team and a stronger record in head-to-head -head battles, it was Carlos Sainz who emerged victorious. But this wasn't just a simple case of one driver outperforming another. No, this was a deliberate strategy that epitomizes Ferrari's approach. The Monegasque, understanding the team's strategy, agreed to start with soft tires. His goal? To get the jump on George Russell and slow him down. Charles Leclerc executed this plan with precision, showcasing not only his driving skills, but also his commitment to Ferrari's equal treatment policy. This selfless act allowed Carlos Sainz to surge ahead and claim a memorable victory. But let's not forget, these victories are more than just symbols of equality. They're proof that Ferrari's policy is a strategic decision that can lead to success on the track. It's a testament to the fact that a team with two equally supported drivers can indeed achieve remarkable results. In an era when teams often favor a clear leading driver, Ferrari's approach is both refreshing and innovative. It challenges the status quo and prompts us to reconsider what a successful team dynamic can look like. These victories show that Ferrari's equal treatment policy isn't just about fairness, it's a strategic decision that can lead to success on the track. So, what does the future hold for Ferrari's equal treatment policy? Well, it can also be a path laden with potential friction. Having two drivers, both capable of challenging for the driver's championship, is like balancing on a tightrope. It's a delicate dance where victory is not just about speed, but also about strategy and team dynamics. Yet Ferrari is confident that this approach is the best. It's a stark contrast to their previous strategy, where one main driver was supported by a second. Remember the era of Michael Schumacher, where Eddie Irvine, Rubens Barrichello, and Felipe Massa played the supporting roles? Well, it's a different ballgame now. Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz are both frontrunners, and Ferrari believes in their potential to challenge for the constructor's title. It's a bold move, a daring strategy, and a statement of equal opportunity. Ferrari's equal treatment policy is a bold strategy, but it's one that they believe will ultimately lead to success. Only time will tell if they're right.